Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Funky Steve's Medinas. So we've shifted planets since the last episode and we got all our mechs repaired. Uh, let's just go to the star map really quick. We're at Tentara right now. And we've moved uh, from here, Manapire. And we've gone to Tentara. It was a 12 day jump. Ice planet. Um, the good thing about this planet, it's uh, one and a half skulls. So there's a lot of missions here that we can do um, that aren't too much of a threat. Um, but enough that we can get some good salvage and some good sea bills, which is really important right now. Uh, we do, we are starting to accumulate a lot of things. So if we go to the mech bay real quick, um, we quite, can't quite fix the Jaeger mech yet. Um, I mean, I could throw some stuff on it just to get it up and running, but I'm not going to waste the sea bills just yet until we figure out what we're going to end up doing with this guy. Um, so I'm not going to bother repairing it just yet. Uh, we will do it, however. Um, but if we look at our equipment real quick, so we've started to amass a lot of things here. We got a double heat sink kit. We got some proto heat sinks. We got a light engine which we can use still. Um, what else do we have here? Exchanger, um, virtual reality pod which we want to get in, and then down here we've got a bunch of stuff to build a melee mech with. Uh, defensive gyros, Beagle probe, ECM, warfare suite, AMS. We've got lots of cool stuff we can add to our mechs. We've got, a, we've got a couple of engines right now, not too many, but so we've got a bunch of stuff we can add. So um, refitting our mechs in the future is, is definitely um, going to happen, just not right away. We still need to get grab a bit uh, more salvage and a bit more sea bills before we are able to do that. And we are on our, we are on our way to the clan, so we're going to have to refit probably um, within the next few episodes or so just to uh, max out our ability to get some more salvage. Uh, if we look at our um, storage right now, you'll see that we do have uh, a wolverine, a crab, and a hunchback sitting in the storage. So we can bring one of these guys forward to get a second lance going. Not going to do that quite yet, but um, you can see here we do have, if we go up here, um, we have a bunch of medium mechs that are ready to kind of be finished here. Trebuchet, um, crab, um, I think there's a few others here. Um, if we mix parts together. But um, yeah, so in the heavy categories, very close to getting a quick draw. We just need a few more pieces. Orion. Um, just need a few piece, pieces of an Orion. Uh, we'd like to get an Axeman, but we're just missing one part of a Legend Killer, which we'd like to get. Um, it would be really nice if we could pick up this mech. Um, and there's a few others that were kind of halfway there. We got uh, a few um, cataract parts. A um, couple of archer parts and stuff. And under the assault category, we do have five Marauder 2 parts, which is nice. If we can pick up one of those, um, or a few of these at some point, that would be great too. Um, but let's quickly go back. We're going to go right to the contracts now. Um, our pilots didn't have any ability to pick up any skills, so I didn't bother adding anything. But I think what I want to do is I want to do this three and a half skull mission here. It's great salvage, great payout. So, and it's three and a half skulls in the Tundra, which is perfect for us. Um, so we're going to negotiate this. It is a capture base mission, so it should be relatively straightforward. Maybe two lances of mechs and some turrets, but we'll see how it goes. And we're going to go full salvage. 405,000 is great. That should be more than enough to cover our drop costs and our repair costs. Alrighty. So we're going to run the same lance that we've been running. We're going to pull the Centurion out, with the, uh, unfortunately, but we're going to put the Bushwhacker in. Uh, I'm going to leave Rocky in with the sensor lock on the Bushwhacker. The Bushwhacker does have that um, slick suite in the head, which gives her bonus to sensors and bonus to sight. So we're going to use her mainly as a scouter uh, and a sensor locker. And then we can use our Victor Hunchback and the uh, mule near here to target people and, and blast them down from range. So we're going to run this way. And uh, so let's deploy this sucker. Yeah, well, I know. You keep saying that, Darius. And let's get this sucker done. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. All right, so I did see a mech there, and it kind of disappeared. Um, this terrain, if you want to actually, we don't have any jump jets, so jumping across here is difficult. So you got to kind of follow the road to get across the river. Otherwise, this is a uh, cliff here that goes down into the river. Not much chance of crossing there. So um, let's get Rocky moving up here. Okay, don't see anything yet. I'm here. So it looks like we don't have any mechs, but most likely turrets. Okay, Steve. 
We're not going to cross the river with Steve. Um, we do have long range weapons on him. And I think operating in the trees up on this hill is going to give him the best advantage. I got a sensor trace. So we got one, two, four vehicles. Nah. It's kind of lousy for salvage, but. Uh, Receiving. Hi, Rocky. The area is in clear. Oh, Darius. And it to your next See, I wouldn't get angry at him for saying that if he didn't sound so arrogant about it. He just want to slap him. Haywire, tag, and machine gun array. Okay. Uh, if we can connect with a few of these, we should probably kill this guy. That's if we connect. Wow. Nice. Harasser B. Here comes the MG. Ah, got me with the haywire too. Everything was impaired. Haywire impairs a lot of things now, apparently. Alright, we're going to multi-target this one because we can. Here. This guy, I have no idea what he is. Oh, Thunderbolt Launcher. Well, let's give him a Thunderbolt to launch. And we'll just fire. Really? Here it comes, folks. Ah. That was just sad. Okay, can we target both? We can. Acknowledged. Okay, he's taking a lot of damage in the front. We're going to go these two on B. Everything else to A. Confirmed. That should do it. Yes. Come on. Okay, 250 hits, but where do we get him? Oh, side in front. If we hit both in the front, he would have been gone. Oh, well. Ah, oh, man. Let's go, Pokey. Okay, another Winston. We fought a Winston before our last battle. That's a lot of missiles. All right, let's see if he can hit. Oh, he's disappearing. Shouldn't have backed up, buddy. You're falling short here. Thanks for coming out. Commander. All right, Rock. Let's get around here. Oh no, we got some shooting to do too, buddy. It's a vedette. All right, let's hit it with everything if we can. So I'm thinking also too, there's been a few things that I've been considering now for, for mech builds. Um, I think one of them is that I think what we want to do for a lot of our mechs is to focus on a specific type of weapon type. So for instance, the Hunchback is a great example of a um, uh, laser weapon type. It's all laser weapons because then we can max out the TTS's on it and then the same thing with these other ones we're going to just focus the ones that have missile hard points crap we're going to focus on missile builds and we may have a couple of lasers but just mostly all missiles and then max out the uh, either TT like three TTS's or a uh, uh, what do you call it um, Artemis system something like that but I think specializing the mechs is going to give us better results overall. Uh, we want to take 21% chance. What is it on this guy? 57. 
Ah, I think that Thunderbolt Carrier is scarier. If we can finish this guy up. Here it comes. Ooh. That's a miss. I'm just thinking that's probably a way to go. Definitely going to need um, ECM and everything on everybody. Uh, we need to pay more attention to the ECM bubbles on these guys too because the ECM bubble will, will work on uh, multiple mechs in the same area. Wow, I should have gone along the road. So painful. But somebody's got to get this Winston. So once we get a few more things, I think I want to get a few more ECM things, like uh, devices. Um, we're going to have to choose a faction on this side now that we're going to get ourselves allied with. Okay, let's see if we can finish this guy up. So we can buy some uh, stuff for cheaper. He elected the way of pain! Um, so yeah, um, I can't target that guy, eh? Can target him, though. Um, yeah, so we want to get a good faction rep so we can start buying stuff in the store for cheaper. Uh, there's a few things there that I want to buy. Like thermal vision is not necessarily needed, but um, the UAV is probably a good idea to have on a lot of the mechs. At least the guys that are going to be up close. Thank God they're only Thunderbolt 5s. Let's go, Steve. Sometime today. You know what it is? He's got a box of cookies he's eating on the way. Just doesn't want to uh, spill or break any, so he's just moving real slow. Stop hitting your own buildings, guys. Alright, Rhino. Uh, let's get across the river here. Don't necessarily have to, but I know there's going to be reinforcements. There definitely will at some point. 26. 23. Um, sure. Uh, if it's going to be that low, we might as well take a chance on this guy. Engaging. Eh. I'd like to say we're getting closer, but it's not happening. I've got eyes on hostile yep. I got eyes on him too, buddy. Hence the whole dropship thing. Okay, at least two mechs in a vehicle. There might be another one over here with uh, Asura, Myrmidon. Javelin. Okay, Rocket. Let's do this. Funky Steve's Medina's. So there's another vehicle up here. Zephyr, Myrmidon, Asura. I think we've got Asura parts too. Let's see if we can finish up this missile carrier. We'll uh, fire everything into it. Everything I've got. Come on. God. But you can see what I mean. Like if we had bigger, like if these were all, uh, MML 9s, it would totally be worth it. I want to see if I can find some more NSS armor. Deca, deca, deca. Nice try, buddy. Oof. Let's do this. Eh, not that great of a chance to hit. Somebody's got an ECM bubble up probably there. Um, 
Let's see what we can do to the javelins. Maybe we can pull him out of the match. If we hit him with the uh, Thunderbolt, the CT. Just like that. <laughs> I love how you hear him fall too. That's hilarious. That shit's hilarious. Okay, let's get over here. Yeah, we got good, great eyes on this missile carrier. Let's finish him up. Goodbye. Lots of Thunderbolt 5s if we want them. And Steve's finally getting himself into battle here. Finished up that box of cookies. We're here now. Um, I think the Asura definitely needs our attention. Maybe not. <laughs> wow, it's so terrible. Myrmidon. You are large. Bunch of light machine guns. Probably a good idea if we shoot on him. Zephyr. Worst chances to hit. So it's going to be the Myrmidon. These guys are a headshot nightmare, so let's fire at them. Oh, really? Only one hit. Oh, good damage, though. Sorry, guys, I'm like really dry here today. combination of the cold weather and my furnace uh, making the house so warm. It's just so dry in here. So yeah, I was part of the polar vor vortex. People were complaining up here, oh, it's, you know, minus 20 something, 24 degrees or minus 26 degrees with the uh, wind chill. And I'm like, nah, I live in Winnipeg, man. This ain't cold. I'm in uh, southern Ontario right now, so if you're wondering why, it's like, uh, well, you know, it's not that not that cold. That. It really isn't. I played hockey outside in minus minus 40 degree weather, so Enemy this isn't that cold. Yeah, I still remember that day. It was cold. Old. You got a ski mask on, long johns on. Double pairs of socks jammed inside your skates. Your full outfit on. Didn't matter. So cold. Still had your helmet on over top of your ski mask. All that people could see was your eyes. That's it. Systems holding. And even then it was like hard to keep your eyes open because you'd be skating and your eyes would be like trying to freeze freeze closed. <laughs> Oh, but it was so so much fun though. It's something you don't forget. Like when you if you if you've ever played uh, hockey outside in the league, man, you never you never forget how fun that is. I have no idea how much armor this guy's got. All right, so let's blast the Zephyr. Try and get him out of here. That should do it. Yep. Okay. Good. Reporting. So now we can just focus on this other jerky jerk over here. Actually, I'm going to step out, I think. Get out of the trees, give us a little better chance to hit. Eh, not much better, but we're going to fire. Well, at least we hit once. Comes that Winston. Finally showing up to the fight. Fight's almost over though. Waiting for orders. Alright, Rocky. Acknowledged. I don't want to kill this guy, but we're gonna hit him hard from behind. Yeah, see, we didn't even pen. I'm receiving you. All right, let's start using our offensive pushes here. Warlord first, offensive push. Going to go after this leg. Fire. Okay, two hits to the leg. It looked like.
least the uh, movement animation is not freaking out on this map. Could try to go for the leg. I think maybe what we're better off doing is just firing and giving him some inst He's already unstable, maybe we can knock him down. So let's attempt to do that. Oh, four hits, nice. And there's the knockdown. Okay, Rhino. Forget that Winston for now, but make sure you keep yourself turned towards them so we don't get back damage. We're going to target the other leg and get started on it. I copy. How do we do here? Did pretty damn good. These legs are almost gone. Okay. Okay. Rocky. Nice. So we're going to direct fire offensive push, direct fire that is, the leg, and we're going to leave off the MMLs. We're just going to fire these guys. Ah, oh, for Christ's sake. Really? I'm here. Send a mech warrior to do a mech warrior's job and that's what you get. Alright, offensive push. Shoot the leg again. He's got lots of armor, so we're going to use everything. Okay, that should do it. Do we get both legs? Ammo went off, knocked down, mech shut down. I thought we hit both legs there for a second. Uh, Rhino. Wish I knew how much he had left in that leg. Doesn't really matter, everything but the Thunderbolt. Gonna go after the leg and fire. Oh, come on! Target's taking a critical hit. <sighs> I can't shoot him or I'll blow him up. Gonna move over and start to get into this Winston. Okay, looks like he's got his back turned to me now. Which should mean killing him is a little gonna be a little easier. A little bit easier. Oh man, what's this guy gonna do? He's still got all his weapons. Oh! Ready for order. Did he shut down? I guess he did. I wasn't really paying attention, I should have been. Alright, side shot over here. And we don't know how much he's got left in his leg. So we have to offensive push this guy, right? Right, leg. But we're gonna fire this. There we go. Nice. So he's legged. Let's kill this Winston. Go home. There we go. I knew we could see him from somewhere. He can see us a little bit better, but we have better evasion, so... Firing. Alright, Steve. There we go. Alright, dump everything into him. I bet you we hit him in four different spots. Two in the back, one in the turret, one on the side. So almost four different spots. Yes, Commander. Steve, 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 Steve. Okay, direct fire is always better. Warlord, confirm. Thunderbolt on. Fire. Engaging the target. Come on. <sighs> Screw you, buddy. Order. I should strip all of this guy's armor off him. Let's go. So let's just use sensor lock because we can. I have no idea what his evasion is. 
gonna fire from here. Nice. Receiving you. Same thing. Fire. Right, they're gonna steal my kill. Where can we go? Can we get to his side? We cannot get to his side because we're stuck on a damn hill. So from the front it is, I guess. Alright, dumping everything into him. There we go. Finally. Let's get on this facility, guys. So overall, pretty good mission. Not really a lot of threat. I think if there was, if those were all mechs at the beginning, it would have been a different story, I think. Would have taken longer to kill them. So that's the other thing we have to be aware of, I guess, um, with the new system. Since battles take a little longer, reinforcements will be arriving earlier. There we go. Mission successful. And because the reinforcements will be arriving earlier, we'll have more guys to fight. So, pretty good payout on this one. And almost no damage at all. We did take a head hit, though. I didn't see that. Or I think I saw that, but I didn't. Just kind of shrugged it off. Okay, so let's see what we've got here gear-wise. Let's first look for stealth stuff. Don't think there really is anything. What's this? t -Semp cannon. Reduced movement, accuracy, and heat management. 60% impaired movement for two turns. Minus three impaired accuracy for two turns. Target is 80 Impaired heat sinkings for two turns. Okay, we're going to take this. Six tons. What's the range? 430 meters. Haywire EMP. Taking that guy. Okay, Angel ECM. Let's put it in there for now. Let's put the other Beagle in there for now. Uh, E-cooling plus three is kind of nice. Fusion cores, XL engines. I'm going to take the... As much as the XL engine is nice, I got a feeling, though, the way I play, fighting the clans, if we lose a side, we lose the mech. So I would rather go with the light engine. That way I don't have to worry about that. Defense gyros are also nice. Um, be nice to outfit everybody with a defensive gyro. I mean, we can leave the Beagle Probe for now, because we've already got one. We only really don't need one in our lance. On the main, uh, oh, sorry. Having a hard time. It's super dry in here today. Okay, this guy we're going to take. Maybe we leave the, I don't know. God, now I don't know what to take. Another targeting computer. Increase, 10% increased sight range. Accuracy with ranged weapons. Minus one recoil, plus one initiative. Modified called shot by 20%. So that, I think, is definitely, we need, that's a definite take. Um, so much good stuff here. Most of this came off one mech. So. All right, well, I think I really like what we got here, so I'm going to keep this. All right. A syrup part, I guess this guy's a Mad Dog? Mad Dog chassis? MDGX? I don't know. Javelin, fluid gun, haywire EMP, three Thunderbolt 5s. Eh, they're three tons. It's not bad. Six heat, 25 damage. Me. Case 2, good. We needed that. Um, Guardian ECM. Yeah, so we made out really well on this mission. We are surrounded. Oh no. 24,000 in eight days. That's really nothing compared comparatively. So we're going to have time to do a whole other mission here. So let's get repaired here. Let's manage the task to make sure our days are being used wisely. So we're going to go 3322 two, two, and let's repair. Five days. Done, and we need one more day for the pilotus apparently. There we go. Alright. I know what we're going to do I think. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Uh, burden of proof is a good possibility. Ambush a convoy. Mm, I don't know if we want to do that. 
Insurrection Interception. This Assassinate Mission. 2 9 Salvage, though. Yeah, I don't know. I think I would rather go Burden of Proof. Ambushing a Convoy? In Polar Region? Yeah, I think we're going to go this route. I like the Salvage better on this one. Um, so let's negotiate this. And we're going to go full. We got enough to make our financial report, so we're good to go. All right, let's drop everybody in like this and get this job done. All right, let's get to the ambushing. So this one is actually not a bad fight. You, you kind of start off with the advantage already. Um, they got to kind of come up this hill to get to here. We've got the hill already, so we're going to get at least the height advantage to start off with. Uh, the only time you run into problems here is if all your mechs are close range fighters. If you've got long range long range shooters, they're, they've, they've got a, basically a kill zone right in here. they got to come through. You just murder them as they come through it. As long as you can remain stealthy enough. That's like vehicles and stuff. So I want to actually request something from you guys. So I've been really thinking about what we're going to do with that Jager mech. And I really don't have any clues. Now we can go with an AC-10 in each arm. The thing is it's going to be limited in firepower, right? Um, unless we reduce the, the engine so that he's moving really slow, uh, we're going to be limited to what we can choose. So I'm thinking that there's a couple ways we can do it. If we can go like a standard easy loadout, put an AC-10 in each arm. So, so it seems, uh, we're going to pause that for a second. It seems though that there's like a full turn or so before these guys show up on your sensors. Um, that's kind of interesting. So we have, we have to be, be wary of that, I guess, when we're starting our matches. Um, so I guess it's so that when you first start, if you can actually see them, you can't shoot them before they start moving, which I think is probably a good thing, just so that they're not sitting ducks as they show up, right? Because these guys are technically on the move. So they would have to be on the move. So there's a wasp, Ontos, 95 ton, missile carrier. We got to kill that guy for sure. Challenger, 90 ton, Zephyr, another Challenger, Brutus, and a crab. Okay, we got crab parts. So we can maybe make another crab. Okay, so as I was saying about the Jager mech, let's not get eyes on yet. I want them to come in a little closer. Uh, so the Jager mech. So we could go with the two classical AC-10s. We could put an AC-10 on each arm and have sort of a medium range build. Uh, kind of a fire support build. A couple of 60 pinpoint hits would be pretty nice on some bad guys. Let's see if we can get a couple of quick snaps off on this guy. Um, the other thing is we could go for um, a Gauss rifle build. So we've got, we do have a bonus to hit Gauss rifle that we can use. So we can throw that in. We've only got one Gauss rifle, unfortunately. So it could be a Gauss rifle and maybe the two light AC-5s that we currently have on the other arm. We'd have to figure out what we're going to do weight-wise, but you know that's always, you know, always a uh, consideration. And then the other thing I was thinking about doing is we do have um, um, what, what's that? Oh, God, what's that system called again? Um, the AC-10 um, UAC. And is it UAC? It's the one that it basically like a, turns it into a scatter gun. And we got a we got a hyper not a hyper velocity, but we got a uh, Gauss rifle scatter gun. I can't I can't remember the names of them now. Um, so we could add like a uh, um, basically a scatter shot build where it would be the that uh, um, Gauss rifle and the ultra or the auto cannon. Um, that would just be basically be uh, shooting particles all over the damn place looking for instability damage and crit hits and stuff. So that's the other, the other uh, possibility. We'd have to slow the mech down in order to do that, I think. But that's a possibility as well. Okay, so this crab's almost gone. So anyway, yeah, just if, if you could think about what, you know, what you'd like to see, just throw it in the messages down below or the comment section down below. We'll figure out what we're going to load that thing out like. We also got a pair of... Autocannon 20s. 
But I don't think with the new, with the way this new system is working, I don't think the AutoCannon twenties are really favorable, um, or really useful at all in this situation because you really have to get in close to use them. Like this guy here, like we're kind of a medium range build here. We'd have to get in really, really close. Like MMLs work, but the the AutoCannon twenties wouldn't be able to shoot this guy yet, right? Um, so we'd have to figure that out. So the Alcan 20s, unless we can move fast, are really worthless, right? Now later on it might not be, when everyone's moving slow. Um, how do we want to do this now? You're going to be the crab destroyer, I think. Actually, it's multi-target, because we can. Let's do this. Roger. So yeah, as I was saying, I'm not really sure, build-wise, if the AC-20s on that uh, Jaeger mech would really be worth it at this point. Maybe later in the game, if we still have the Jaeger mech around, um, and we're using it, which is probably unlikely, but you never know. Okay, let's get over here. Really haven't taken a toll of anybody here. Zephyr, have no idea really how much army he's got left, but we're going to split shots. Crab doesn't have much left. This guy, I don't know, but we're going to A, B this. Uh, A's and B's? No, let's just kill. Let's just kill the crab. Or attempt to, anyway. Guy's taking a punishment, man. He's got like nothing left here. Oh, great. Don't shoot, buddy. Perfect. No idea how much armor this guy's got. It's raining LRMs. Hallelujah, it's raining lerms. Now, I'd like to ultimately... That Jager mech would be nice with a couple of Rack 5s. We'd have to lower the armor, I think, a bit. Maybe lower the edge of that a bit. Sorry, man, I'm so dry. Holy crap. Um, I copy. But, uh, yeah, if we did that, might be a good thing, too. So let's go with these guys. Oh, those guys have to go in A. That's B. These guys are definitely A. So, I guess... <sighs> yeah. Firing on multiple enemies. Sorry, I had to think about that one for a second. Because the uh, Mjolnir still got to go, so... If we can kill him with this thing... Yeah, then the Mjolnir can kill the Zephyr. So I don't think we're going to get much salvage off that. Now, some vehicles do carry stealth systems and stuff, so you might be able to get some things off vehicles. The one thing vehicles are good for is collecting yeah, weapons. So if you need if you need you know bulk weapons or whatever vehicles are perfect for collecting those. That gas rifle it's not a hyper velocity gas rifle it's like a I don't even remember what the hell it's called now. Minimal damage on anyway, Jager mech. I've never been able to get a build on a Jager mech that I really like. Like, you could put a Gauss Rifle in each arm. I guess. But for 65 ton mech, it just seems like the Ballistic Jagger mech, that is. I'm not talking about the uh, missile version, because I think the missile version is actually quite good. But the Ballistic version with two Ballistic points in each arm, it's really difficult to say what would be the best loadout for that thing. I mean, like I said, racks are probably a pretty good choice. But we don't have any right now. Like a pair of Rack 5s. That could be totally deadly in the, on that on that uh, Jager mech. Because you don't need speed then, you just stand back and just use your rotary autocans on people. But you got to carry a lot of ammo, right? You still need... Like, depending on... If you say you got, you know, 10 turns of fighting, you're still going to need, like, 3 tons of ammo per per uh, rack, right? So it's going to use up a lot of ammo. Um, what do we want to do here? 
I think we're gonna do this. And let's start targeting. This guy's just a wasp. I'm not really worried about him. Challenger 90 tons. Goss rifle. LBX. That was what it was. LBX. Now, does somebody else have... These are light gosses. Missile carrier's got two LRM-20s. Probably really light armor. So let's multi-target. Let's go after this guy. Yeah, I don't know, this guy. Well, we can't really be anything anyway, so let's just fire on A. Come on. Nice. Two Lerm 20s I don't have to worry about. Reporting enemy vehicle. Commander. Enemy vehicle commander. Location confirmed. But you can see what I mean about this being a complete kill zone. There's just really nowhere for them to go. Other than straight into guns, right? That's all they can do is just go straight into guns here. Um, I'm going to Warlord this. Probably going to have a chance to do this later again. But we have good chances to hit, so... Let's make them that much better. Increase some damage on this guy. And Steve will do the same thing. We're going to Warlord. And dump everything into the Challenger. Okay, three hits. Nice. The Brutus, I think, is one of the guards. Damage is minor, Commander. Making you unstable, though, girl. Hopefully, they don't make you unhinged. I think we got enough for vigilance after this, though. So we're going to move back. Yes, Commander. We do. Let's get back over here. Let me get rid of this Challenger now. Taking a lot of damage on the front. Pew pew. Damage minimal. I think those are micro lasers. Yes, Commander. Okay, might as well use this now. Um can't multi target, that's right. Do we have a, ch a chance to kill this guy? Probably do. So let's fire on him instead. Damn it. Hit the side, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Ask you to do one thing! One thing! Okay, you should be in medium laser range, yep. Front. Hit the front. Of course he's going to go now. Pew! Alright, Steve. So this weekend, uh, looks like Sunday night's going to be the night I release the next, uh, beginning of the next series. I missed with 99% chance. Did you see that? And it says 8%. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts hey, I bet you they're behind us. <laughs> because fuck you. <laughs> no. Yep. I don't know yet. <laughs> I bet you they're behind us. Oh my god. Please no. Damage minimal. Find out where they are. Commander. They're most likely behind us. Hello. 
My defense, I've never had reinforcements on this map before, so... Oh yeah, there they are right there. With their backs turned to us. Hatchet Man! <gasps> Griffin, Javelin, Spider. Waiting for orders. Uh, we need to do something fast. Like, get out of their range. Let's try shooting this guy up. Doesn't have much armor. Nice. Oh, God. Well, if they're going to cheat, I'm going to cheat too, because fuck you. Hatchet man. Really? Sure. Aye. Nice. Guard a critical hit. Let's hope one of our other guys goes before him. Maybe we can finish him up. Nope. Damn you. Is that a rack? Must be a rack too. PPC javelin, okay. I didn't think this mission was going to be easy, did I? Spider. Well, you want to be a cheater, we can be a cheater. I generally don't like doing this because in my mind if you're gonna if you're gonna send in reinforcements I don't mind that idea because right they're gonna have reinforcements and you get and I get that what I don't like is they somehow miraculously appear behind you without any warning it's like were they powered down no were they drop shipped in maybe but then you I mean Darius would detect that they'd be on their way in right do I take the chance Take the chance. Two hits, nice. Enemy mech. Critical damage. So if they say, you know, enemy reinforcements are coming, right? They should give you at least a couple of turn warning. Because you'd know they're on their way. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. That guy's just setting himself up to die now. Waiting for orders. Ah, we want to do this here. Ah, oh, shit. Really? Ah, uh, that was stupid. Got it. All right.
can't take much more of this. You have to, girl. Reporting heavy damage. Orders? Yeah, you're not that bad off. Not yet, anyway. I want to be in the woods, though. Alright, everything on this guy. Maybe we can kill him. Nope. Inflicted some heavy damage. Looks like he lost his arm though. Commander? Um Yeesh. Probably not the right move. Gonna fire this way. Engage in multiple targets. Okay, nice hits. Nice hits. That hit something good. See what they do here. We're still out number two to one. Hatchet Man has moved to a position where I might be able to get a back shot on him. So he's probably overheating. Uh, we got a sprint again. Get in the woods. Let's go this route. Roger. Oh, he's taking heavy damage, but he's still going. Come on, finish him up. There we go. I don't. I don't want that thing. Are you kidding me? Okay, this guy's almost gone. Steve. Steve! I don't think I can target this guy, right? Oh, crap. That's okay. Let's just try and kill this, uh, this guy here. Hmm. Really? Better chances on the Challenger. He's got a lot of armor though. Brutus, not so much. Let's just shoot on him. Maybe we can kill him. Almost. Almost. Comes that Griffin. Crap, it's the ATM version. These guys are really slow. Are they going first? No, they're going last. Ow. Yeah, I knew being out in the open would be problematic. Okay, shoot him. That's the guy I want you to shoot. Where's that Brutus, though? Did, it be, did he BTF out? Or is he still coming? I think he's. I think he backed up. Little jerk. This guy's taking a lot of front damage. Ready for orders. Everything on this guy. Maybe we can kill him. Roger that. Okay, he's severely damaged though. That hit something good. Uh, 
can't take much more of that. Yes, Commander. Move order received. You want to stand still? Cool. What's that guy doing? I wish it would still give you the uh, chance to hit, rather than having to click on everything. All right, let's confirm this. Gonna multi. Oh, we can't multi-target. Shoot. Oh uh, well. Hatchet man, it is. Okay, he's taking some damage somewhere. Sounded like he lost an arm or something. That looked like his hatchet arm. No, 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 don't go away. Okay, good. This guy we gotta kill fast. What's that Brutus doing? Jesus Christ. I know you don't have any armor, buddy, but it's getting annoying back there. No idea where this guy's penned. Probably got ECM or something on him. That's the importance of having those Beagle probes, right? I know this is a big risk, but we got to do this. All right, we got to see this guy here. Challenger, 250 on the sides. Yikes. 180 in the back. This guy, almost gone. So we're going to multi-target this. And B is going to be that. No, I better make sure we kill that Antos. Okay, nice. Okay, challenger hit. Where, though? Side. Okay. Good start. Oh, thanks. Really? Because I didn't think we had engaged yet. Okay, that was boat tons of damage, but where do we hit? Front, and a little bit on the side. Not enough. Mjolnir's gonna have to finish him up. Yep. Light damage. Holding firm. Hunchback's gonna go after the Axeman. They're banging through my armor. Yeah, I know. Chill out. That was a good shot. All right, um, everything on this guy, I want him gone. Nice. So now we have the choice to leave. Gotta go this way. No wait, that's the other guard unit. Where's our extraction point? Oh, it is this way, it figures. Uh, okay. Um, 
getting blasted on the left side there. Can we turn? Moving at full throttle. That's a little better, I guess. Shooting this hatcherman. Confirmed. We do have we do have some hatcherman parts. I'd like to be able to pick up a few more. We could make a four, crazy 45 ton melee mech. I don't think we need to risk any more damage. Once we get that Axeman, we're out of here. So the Bushwhacker is going to go handle that Brutus that's still over here. And if that Javelin positions himself right, I might be able to get a back shot on him. And maybe. Minimal damage. No, it doesn't look like it. It's alright though. We got this guy. Acknowledged. There we go. So we should be able to get at least one piece out of that. Yeah, I should have been wary of that. That was stupid on my part. We still got a fair bit of back. Ah, maybe not. <laughs> I said I was because we have a fair bit of back armor, but I guess not. Not if that guy hits it all in the same spot. We don't. All right, this Brutus should die. It's got his whole front damage, I think. Right? Yeah, we should be able to kill this guy. So we're gonna fire everything. There we go. Bit of a bonus payment. Vehicle trashed. I guess it might be just easier for us to stick this out. Probably. Roger. I don't know if you guys can hear my cat downstairs. Okay. Calling out for my other cat. Where are you? I want to play. Okay, we're gonna show this. Uh, yeah, we're gonna show this uh, javelin what it's like to use PPCs. They got the height advantage on us right now. I don't like that. Come on, spider. Nice. Enemy max critical damage detected. Standing by. Okay, let's work on that javelin and see if we can get rid of him. Yeah, fire everything. Yeah, we need a better loader loadout for this victor. Receiving. So having those um Having that Thunderbolt on there is much better than the AC-20, but we need something else. I'm receiving you. Ten four. Taking a lot of damage on this run. But it was three lances in total, so... Oh, he's knocked down. At least it sounded like it. What's up, you two? How's this Griffin doing? <laughs> he's got almost no CT left in the back. Oh, God, really? Would have been nice. This guy. Let's finish this guy up.
Just have to be sure. Okay, Griffin's probably going to... Oh, I always thought Griffin was going to shoot the uh, meal there, but I guess not. So what you want to do when you've got mechs like this is you want to split fire them. Get one guy on one side, one guy on the other side. Better chance of getting a back shot, even by mistake. They may just turn uh, by mistake and gives you a better chance for a back shot. I don't think you're going to be able to get back in combat, girl. But you most certainly can sensor lock somebody. Bang. Oh my god, 97% chance to hit and we miss with the uh, Thunderbolt. I'm missing a lot of high percentage shots, it's beginning to make me really frustrated. Alright, on this guy. Fire everything. So this battle's gone a lot longer than I thought it would. Okay, I think he's going to go before us. Yeah. But he's got to decide where he's going to move now. Yeah. What's up, you two? How are you doing for armor? 50, 70... Uh... Nope. Yep. Come on, man. Bail out. Tired of fighting you. Alright. Should be jumping away from here, buddy. I guess that's what happens when you're really panicked. Ready for order. It's not like these guys were outclassed, they were just outfought. Because, no uh, you know, we're like superior, right? Totally superior. Really bad chances to hit. Gonna take him. Gotta get started on this guy. I'm Making here. him unstable. Get rid of this Griffin. Goodbye. Enemy eliminated. Oh, he's got to go still. Just committed suicide. Alright, Rhino goes first. Might as well warlord it up. And just fire in his back. Yeah, I would have sped up that missile, but it's nice watching him fly through the air just as he gets destroyed. It's like slow motion death. Alright guys, mission two. We took a bunch of damage. This is We're going to be paying this out for sure in damage. Now, I'm going to check my components here. I don't think we took any component damage. That is the one thing I like about choosing um, the our second skill in tactics, is that it's got the plus 50% injury resist, or I guess minus 50% to injury damage. Oh, hatchetman parts. You've got a different version of the hatchetman. Zero support points, really. So that's really useless then. AC 10. So it got a rotary AC 2 in it. That's really kind of useless. With no support points. It's like how do you make a melee mech out of that? Okay, LBX 10. 
could take that. Um, we could use two LBX tens in the Jager mech. It's a possibility. But I want to see what other components. MML sevens. Okay, that's a good possibility as well. SRM sixes. Yeah. Okay, AMSs. We've got those are just the regular ones. C three save. Compact heat sink kit. Double cooling throughout the battle mech. XL engines, Ferro, ECMs, uh, double heat sinks, patchwork, slick suites, nice. Artemis systems. Um, Don't have any of those left. A targeting computer. These things really are nice. All these slick suites are nice too, right? Increased sensor and sight range, injury resist, resolve gain, initiative gain, thermal vision, has zoom decay. Those are all the things that we were thinking about purchasing for our mechs. So, like a slick suite, we just replaces all those. So that's kind of really nice. Um, God, it's such a hard ad. XL Gyro. It's one of the other things we were looking for. But I'm wondering, rather than gating, like, uh, I don't know, minus 30% of one-tenth of the chassis weight. So if the chassis weighs 100 tons, right, this is like, what, 3 ton savings? No, it would be 7 tons, wouldn't it? Minus 30% of one tenth of the chassis weight. So it'll be seven tons for a hundred ton mech. So three and a half tons for a fifty ton mech. But the XL gyro gives us evasion and defense. Or sorry, the uh, defensive gyro. Which I'm thinking in the long run is probably more valuable. And and it, like I'm, I'm really favoring going with less weapons and more, yeah, C3 slave units. So I think we want to, we need a C3 master, I think, to use these. We need a C3 command unit. Increase sensor range, increase sight range for the lance. Increase resolve gain for all lance members. One ton. Ah, snub nose PPC. I think I'm going to take. I don't know. Plus three laser damage. Plus one heat. Minus one accuracy. Well, this would give us an, a build for the Jager mech. We could go with two LB, LB uh, X10s. We do have one already. Damage is 14 times 6 projectiles, plus or minus 4. Recoil a 3, plus 1 accuracy, 1 evasion, pips ignored. 50% chance to do, deal critical hits. Let's do that. Then we can get our Jager mech up and running. And much as I want to choose those mech parts, I think it's probably wiser. We got a rotary AC2 as well. 12 tons though. It's 100 damage possibility for. 30% chance to jam though. Whew. Sorry for taking so long, guys. I mean, we could take a C3 slave and it just. Maybe we take an engine. 270 core maybe 
I mean, the 285 is nice, but I think with the weight of mech we have, 270 might be better to go with. That's 19 and a half tons. This is 17 and a half. Or we could take an XL engine and sell it, but I think that's not. Let's take the XL gyro. I mean, we'll get use out of it on somebody. But then there's a supercharger too, right? Walk distance. 50% heat generated from weapons fire. Targeting computer. We've already got one of these sitting in our bay. Do we want a second one though? That's the question, right? It's got a zoom decay, advanced zoom on it, thermal night vision, increased sight range, increased accuracy. Let's go with it. We are looking for this kind of gear. We need to gear up. So let's go with this and confirm. All right, we did get two hatchetman parts. That's amazing. That's awesome. Uh, and we got the medium laser and the rotary auto cannon. Oh my God, what a roll. AMS, nice. Artemis system, nice. So we made out really well in that roll. I'm actually shocked with how good this is. Cool. All right. A few plants changing. Yeah, 170,000. Okay, it's a little less than I thought. 50 days for repairs. All right, let's have a look what the days are here. Victor is 19, Hunchback, Bushwhacker. Mjolnir can be up and running in seven. So let's get that up and running in seven and the Hunchback in 11. So in 11 days from now, we'll have both of those back. Do we have two other mechs we can run? I don't think so. We do have the Catapult, the Thunderbolt and the LRMs and the Centurion with Thunderbolt and LRMs. We could take a, we could, yeah, maybe next episode we take a light mission. We fix up the Jager mech first, take a, another mission after 11 days of repair. And then um, we jump planet while our mechs are being repaired. I think that's probably the best way to go. We've got enough for the financial report right now. We don't necessarily need to sell anything. Uh, but we are accumulating a lot of stuff. I think probably in a couple of episodes or so, we're going to have to relook at our lance here. Definitely want to bring a few mechs forward. Um, well, maybe just one, maybe just the Wolverine. For now, use it as a melee mech. Um, we do have enough stuff for, to make them into a melee mech now. Yeah, and then the Bushwhacker. I'm not really happy with the load on, on this. It'd be nice if we could make this like we have in, with the, like the Bushwhacker that we have in... Um, Cold Forge with the two PPCs, one on each arm, and then the uh, um, Ultra Auto Cannon 5. That's a nice fire support mech. And definitely has the hard points for it, so that's a possibility. I like the Bushwhacker as a fire support mech. Uh, right now, this kind of medium range build is not really working for me, having to get in close and taking a lot of damage. I would rather leave that to the uh, Victor and the uh, Mjolnir. Um, or something with a lot of stealth, like the Hunchback right now. Um, and then later on, of course, the Wolverine will have the stealth as well, right? So we want to refit the Catapult too. Um, I want to readjust this build, I think. Um, we'll probably lower the engine, to make just to make it slower. Um, and then the Jager mech. Yeah, we're going to put those two um, LBX-10s in this thing. One on each arm. Yeah, I think that's probably the best way to go. We may have to... Um, it's got an XL gyro already. We may have to lower the engine. What do we have in here? We don't... See, the problem is we don't... It's a 260. We don't have very many cores, right? So maybe the next mission we try and just... Try and get a bunch of uh, engine cores. We had to sell a bunch off there a little while ago when we, when we first switched over to the newest version of Rogue Tech. We started running out of money real fast, so we had to sell a bunch of cores. So... We've only got two right now, uh, a 200 and a 260, I think, or 285 or something like that. So, all right, so next episode we will um, pull off a mission and we will refit the catapult probably and the Jager mech, get them working a little better. Um, yeah, so we'll leave it there. If uh, 
Also, too, for the Catapult or for the Agamek, as I was saying earlier, uh, if you have an idea for or suggestions for you know how I think I should load it out, please drop those mess those uh, comments in the comment section down below. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you all later.